Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video with the Typhon. This video is going to be a few things. So we're going to be talking about upgrades that I've got coming for the Typhon, some changes I've wanted to make to it, as well as I want to show you a few parts that I received from RCR Wheel Drive. If you guys remember a few videos ago, I had broke one of the plastic 6x30 17mm hubs that go inside the MX28s as well as my Method RC wheels. So I reached out to them and they sent me over a set of their aluminum ones, but I've also got a few upgrades for the differentials as well, which is kind of neat because they're an EXB differential. So they've got the plates and all that kind of fun stuff. So we're going to check those out as well as, like I mentioned, guys, talk about some of the electronics changes I'm going to be making. We're going to remove the firma 150 and we're going to be dropping in a Max 8 only because my Max 8's already set up with one connector. Uh, the bullets are already set up and all that kind of stuff. So I don't have to worry about soldering any different connectors or soldering different bullets on it for the motor. As well as, guys, you can see over here, I've got three motors over there. Now, one of them is for the Kagama. It's a 4282-1780 kV. That one's going in the Kagama. But I have a few other motors that I picked up. The 4076-2250 kV motor and the 4082-2060 kV motor. Now, I went with these because I wanted to keep those high RPMs. I wanted the higher KV rating and all that kind of fun stuff. The Typhon isn't super heavy. I do have the M2C chassis and those KCRC shock tires, which are a little bit thicker. They're 7075, they do weigh a little bit more, but I still think I'm gonna be able to get this buggy where I want it between these two motors. Now, I'm not gonna be running the buggy in this video or anything like that. I'm just kind of showing you guys what's coming up, but we will try both motors at some point. So we will have the the 4082 and the 4076 in at some point. Now, moving on, for some reason, Proline is discontinuing their aluminum 6x30 17 millimeter adapter. So, those are the ones you need if you want to run a 2.8 inch Proline, a 2.8 inch Method RC wheel on your 17 millimeter hex. RC All Wheel Drive released these a little bit ago. I've seen them now for a while. I did finally reach out to them. We talked for a bit and they sent me over a set so that we can get these things installed and get them mounted up to the MX-28s. I am looking forward to having those plastic ones gone. Overall, over the years, I've had pretty good luck with the plastic ones, but I've broken two of them now. So I had replaced one of the broken ones with another plastic one and I went out in a run and I broke another one. So it's definitely time to upgrade those. Now I went ahead and mounted up one to the Proline and one to the Method RC just so that you can see that they work with both. It's a nice looking piece guys. It's anodized black but then they put like this little kind of a chamfer, this little bevel right here so that you can see obviously the aluminum, the raw aluminum underneath. But it is a nice fit. They sit in there nice and snug. What I'm going to do now though is I only put the one on the Terraform just to kind of show you guys that it'll work. But I'm going to get these all on the Proline rims, get all those back on the buggy and then I'm going to show you guys those other parts I was talking about earlier, those different. Now, as I mentioned, this is kind of more of a just a fun update video. Usually this time of year when we start getting into the winter and the cold, you will see more videos like this just because it's yucky outside. And I have time to kind of work on the trucks and the buggies and all that kind of fun stuff. I'm not as much in a hurry to get stuff completed. When I'm working on a truck in the summer, I just really want to get it back out. I don't like it being, I don't like the downtime or anything like that. So... When the winter comes, I can kind of enjoy the build. I can take apart, do my maintenance, all that kind of fun stuff. I was going to, guys, open it up these differentials. Now, I'm going to kind of bring it in just so you can take a, a good look at it. You can see the aluminum diff case and all that stuff. But these are a direct replacement for your front and rear differentials and your Typhon, your Creighton, Fireteam, all those vehicles. They are also, they're kind of like the EXB diff. So they have the plates, they have the, the limiting slip differentials, all that kind of fun stuff. And I've seen these for a while between RCR Wheel Drive, Ally Express, and a few other sites. I have seen these differentials and I've always wanted to try them out. So I did, like I mentioned, guys, I was talking to a few people at the company and they did send me these things out to give them a try. So it's going to be fun to drop these things in. I don't know if I need to check the oils. I'm going to probably pull them apart anyways, just so I can show you guys everything inside. I'm not sure if they come with oil or not. I was going to open it. But I just don't want to lose any parts. I don't want to lose the pinion or anything like that. So stay tuned for one of the next videos when we actually start dropping these in. Because at that point, we'll take it apart and we'll check out everything. I also wanted to show you guys the motor. And I myself actually wanted to check it out. I've had these sitting over there with a the wrap on now for a while. And yeah, that's a, that's a big motor. That's nice, guys. Again, so it's the 4082 2060 KV. It's the rocket motor. We should... We're going to have the Max 6... 
yeah, we should be able to reach. I'm hoping we can reach. It's one thing that's nice about the Corelli vehicles. I think when I first ordered this one, I was thinking of the Kagama or the Asuga because what's nice is the motor sits here, but then your ESC sits here on a Corelli. So there's no issues at all with the leads. But I'm just going to bring you guys in so you can see the difference in the length of the motor. That looks like an absolute monster on there. And the crazy things, guys, is that's not the big motor. Over there, this guy right here, that's the 4282. So that's a, this is nice, guys. I'm actually now, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to do this, but I am thinking, I forgot that I wanted to put a bigger motor in my Habao Hyper MT Plus 2 as well, or even the MTX. And now looking at this, I'm thinking that maybe that's the route I'm going to take with this motor and I'll run the 2250 in the Typhon. I don't know. I, I It would be fun to just to run this thing and see what it's like, gear up a few teeth and all that kind of fun stuff. But you know what, guys? We'll, we'll figure that out in a later video. All right, guys, there you have it. I know this is a bit of a different kind of video. I just really wanted to show those RC all-wheel drive 17 millimeter 6x30 hubs. With Proline discontinuing the metal ones now, we definitely want to be able to replace those plastic ones. Like I mentioned, I broke two of them. So the idea of taking another one off of one of my paddles, I was just like, you know what, enough of this. I started searching and I found these ones. And like I mentioned, guys, a couple times in this video, I did reach out to the company. They sent me those over to test and all that kind of fun stuff. This time of year is just the good time for this kind of stuff. We have interesting weather outside one day we're warm one day we're cold one day we've got snow the next day we've got raining so i do kind of spend more time making sort of the shop videos and all that stuff but we will get out and we will be running our seas uh, just not as much as obviously we do in the summer but guys there you have it this thing just is actually putting a smile on my face seeing it sitting there but as always if you like this video give me a big thumbs up please subscribe and have a great day